Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So here we want to complete what we had started, uh, which is what you see here. Make PDF gives us this document, which we want to turn into a PDF. So the issue is, if you remember very well here, the, um, the way we tell MPDF to do things is to set output or no, it would say write HTML and then we put our HTML in there. So we need to have a variable that has our HTML that we can put in here in these brackets. The problem is the way things are right now is we are simply echoing the HTML as it is. So what we can do instead is to add some PHP tags here. Um, let's say if I do this, so this becomes PHP and then I set a variable like A and then say is equal to like this. So now A is equal to this. So all this is taken into account, but then there's uh, some PHP tags in there which need removing. And then we need to step out of the uh, that thing and come back in just like that. And we keep going. Um, until we get to the end. So that's one way to do it. And maybe we should do that exactly. Yes, because now we have the, we have the HTML we need and we see how this HTML actually works. Another way to do it is to save this file separately and then import it again. So let me show you how to do that. That way we don't have to, let me undo this. That way we don't have to remove the way the HTML looks like. Then I can also test it separately if I want. So what I'll do instead, this is a make PDF, right? I'll select everything here, make a new controller and paste. This controller, I'm going to call it uh, make um, let's see, uh, test. So I'm, I'm being very specific here what I want to make because the other one is make PDF, but it can be any type of PDF. Now I want to make a very specific one. So I'll say make test PDF. So PHP like that. So make test PDF and save that one. So now you can have PDFs for different things, maybe make receipt PDF, make test PDF and etc, etc, like that. So now that we have this make test PDF, what I don't need in here is this part require, because all this talks about uh, MPDF itself. And then I don't need to check all these access levels, for example, so I can remove all that and remove this redirect as well. Uh, this generation of a folder as well is not required here. So let's remove that. And uh, the rest are okay because we're trying to generate some PD, uh, some HTML, sorry. And up to the end there. Okay, pretty good. So we have this file that runs just as a normal controller. So this one is make test underscore PDF, not text, but test. Okay, so now that we are done, it means once, once we log on to this one, we see exactly what we see here. So I'll change this from make PDF to make test underscore PDF so that you see that there's really no difference between the two. However, the make PDF is going to load the contents of this other page. So I'm going back to make PDF, which is the general thing. And I'm going to remove everything uh, lower than this part. Like so. So here I'll leave the rest as it were. So I'll create the folder, check if I'm logged in the entire thing. And then let me remove this. But then now, I can actually write some uh, PDF, some, some file here. And um, so if you look closely here, um, 
for this to work here we need the uh, what's this the test id and the user id there so i'm just going to copy these for now from the url itself and i will come here and add them to this so here when writing uh the html i want to put the html in here i'll say html is equal to file get contents okay now the thing is if i use my root and i say root like this now keep in mind that root contains the text http like this so which means once i put root there i'm using the http protocol to load this file because file get contents if you put a file name here you to get the contents of the file and put them in a variable but in this case i don't want you to just uh, get a file i want it to get a result of a php operation so i have to use the http which makes it similar to typing something in the url because urls use http requests so we're using this to access a file but using the http uh, protocol now every time you use the http apache will be forced to uh, process the php in a file if it has if it's a php file that is so if for example i just say file get contents and i select a text file here it will just read the contents and send them to you but if you use http it will be forced to check and if that file is a php file and then it will process the information before giving you for security reasons of course so we'll use that to our advantage and say root and then slash and then we'll call the mech underscore test underscore pdf then we'll put a slash and um, paste the test id and the user id so essentially here we're just running a url inside the file get contents and then we run our url to this same file that we've opened here and since this file displays this in html format it means it's going to return that that html and put it here then we can finally use that here and say write and then give it an output as well so the output is my pdf.pdf inside a folder that will create which is generated pdfs so let's make sure that inside generate generated pdfs we remove we delete everything that's there just so we know we did get a new file so back to make pdf uh, this should actually do so back here let's remove the test so that it's make pdf so i'm just going to say make pdf like that enter so once it runs like that uh, we're assuming that you see i didn't put anything in the url because i already have what i need here i already put it directly but going forward we'll have to put it in the url because we can't hard code the test id in there so generated pdfs has a file so let's uh, open the folder and there it is so let's open it and see what's going on and as you can see uh, there it is uh, things have worked out now as you can see here some things are not doing very well uh, some tags are not recognized like the center tag is not recognized at all so this was in the center but it's here now because it doesn't know what the center tag is and you can see so you can see some issues that come up here uh, and then you can work with your css to make sure that uh, you add more widely used css to get the proper uh, things that you want so for example let's come back to back to test pdf here and um, we did add a font family here of tahoma i'm not sure if it was respected it seems it wasn't so font family so maybe it wasn't cascading down here 
let's see here let me just cut this and put o star o font family tahoma let's see if that will work A resource temporarily unavailable what's happening unable to create output file f open oh that's because it's trying to write a file that is open okay so refresh that should work now and uh, where is generated PDFs there we go okay there we go so this didn't work either let's put that back so you can read the documentation on MPDF to see uh, how things should work but uh, this should have worked actually maybe Tahoma isn't there in the list so what we will do is let's go to uh, here uh, where is that let's go to what's this um, models MPDF uh, MPDF again, MPDF and TT fonts. So these are the fonts that are available. So instead we can use these. Free Suns maybe. Let me try that. Um, Roboto is one of them here. So let me try Roboto because I added it there anyway. So let's give it a shot. Refresh. Again, we didn't close this file. That's why we have an error. But let's try again. Let me refresh. And as you can see, the font is uh, much better now. You can see there, this one is complying, that one as well. Except for the table. Uh, but the rest are complying with the font family. So we can do the same thing. Uh, copy this for the table right here. And uh, let's close the file again and refresh here. And uh, let's try again. And there we go. So you see uh, it's looking much better. There are some extra tables here because of this one that has five. Let me close that. If you go back to make PDF here, there's this uh, description here, which has column span of five. So let's put four instead, because they're actually four columns. So maybe that's what's causing the problem. Let me refresh. Let's come back to generated PDFs, open that again. And yeah, that problem is sorted out. So you can see, uh, you can go back and forth, redesign your your page until the PDF looks good, as good as you want. And then once you're done with that, that's it. So now you can generate PDFs. But let's make this better because right now we have hard coded the information to generate a PDF, which is not good. So what we are supposed to do here is read the file and download it. Okay, so we change our header settings here so that we can initiate a file download immediately so once this is done then the file is downloaded so uh, let, let's do that in the next video